What's up, everyone? Today, I'm sharing with you my concern with a crucial P5 NVMe SSD. I bought this a uh, new SSD to fill all of my three M.2 uh, slots available on my motherboard. I bought here a new computer recently, and uh, the problem is this crucial P5 NVMe SSD is very slow when you are transferring a big portion of data to it or out of it, and uh, so what I'm doing here, I'm checking, doing an inspect inspection if there's any uh, physical damage to the SSD. Apparently there's none. It's intact and it's basically new. Uh, just purchased from Amazon.com. So I'm putting this back with my uh, thick cooling plates on each of the SSDs. So I have three of them. One is a Hynix P31 Gold, two terabytes as my main drive, and I had a, a old one, a A Data uh, NVMe SSD, one terabyte as well, and this one is a new one with one terabyte capacity as well. I made sure all of the SSDs is uh, closely in contact with the cooling plates. And this should give a very good cooling uh, solution to all of them. And I'm putting back the graphic card back. Now we are uh, back to the boot up and uh, checking the parameters. So the first one is my crucial uh, P5. The second one is my main drive, the Hynix Gold P31, 2 terabytes. And the third one is the older 8 data SX8200 series. You can see the older one is relatively cooler, but the, the first two is around the same temperature at idle, around 40 uh, Celsius. And they are very new in terms of the written and the uh, and, uh, and, uh, reads. You can see I'm starting transferring a big portion of data from my main drive to this P P5 Crucial uh, NVMe SSD. The speed is already dropping from around 2 gigabytes back to uh, less than 1 gigabyte now. It's going to constantly dropping from that point. And you can see the temperature showing on the left side is around 60-ish, which is actually very very warm, given I already have a very good uh, cooling place on it. But it's still under the limit of the, this SSD, which is 70 C degrees. Now it's dropping back to 300 and 400 megabytes per second, which is very slow for a M.2 SSD. So there are uh, usually three uh, types of cache used in, in modern SSDs. One is SLC, one is MLC, one is TLC. And recently, uh, the, the companies, big companies, they started to switch from TLC to a QLC NAND, which is, which is much cheaper and uh, slower. For a TLC, we usually see a steady speed around one kilobyte per second. And for uh, QLC, it's going to be around the HDD uh, speed which is what we are seeing now is it's less than 300, around 200. It's, it's still constantly dropping. And let's uh, proceed. You can see the, the speed is not going back and even lower than 200 now. The temperature is high, but it's still under the limit of the operation. And we, we, we barely use the half of the space at all when we are doing this uh, transfer process. The speed is going uh, back to 600 a little bit for a few seconds, and then, and then constantly dropping back to uh, 300 and 200 now. As I mentioned, uh, usually uh, the SSD is going to use up the DRAM and the SLC cache first. And after that, they are going to rely on those uh, 
the 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 vast majority of the QLC or TLC uh, NAND. And uh, if I'm with a TLC NAND, I should not see something like this, 160 megabytes constant or even lower. Given the temperature is under the limit, given the capacity is not consumed barely half of the one terabyte, there's no really a uh, limiting factor can uh, lead to this uh, result having a very slow transfer uh, speed. The only answer is um, having a QLC NAND in my drive instead of a TLC, which was advertised. So make sure you do this yourself as well. Put a, a, a big portion of data, maybe over 100 gigabyte from another NVMe drive to this one to check if your speed is having same thing, same thing like this. And uh, I think we should do the same to make sure those companies are not cheating for us.